Hey everyone, it's Danielle from Cool Science Experiments Headquarters. For the experiment today, we are going to put some objects in a bucket of water and we're going to find out whether they sink or they float. We've done this before and we've seen that the weight of an object isn't the only factor that determines whether it's going to sink or float. We've proven this with oranges, where the heavier orange was the one that floated and the lighter orange was the one that sank. If you missed that experiment, go ahead and click the link right here to check it out. Today, we are going to use pop cans, and we're going to find if any of them sink and if any of them float. Are you ready? Let's get started. To begin the experiment, you're going to start with a large container or bucket of water. You're also going to need a variety of pop cans. Each of them should be sealed and weigh 12 fluid ounces. And what you're going to do is you're going to slowly and carefully place one can of pop into the water at a time. And when you place the pop in the water, make sure you turn it a little bit to its side so no air is trapped underneath it. And we're going to see which ones sink and which ones float. And you can see that one of them sunk and one of them floated. Try this one. As I mentioned, you can see that she's turning them to the side when she places them in so the air is removed. So as you can see, some of the cans sank to the bottom, while others stayed floating at the top. Can you tell me why do some of the pop cans float while others sink, even though they're all the same shape and size and they're each 12 fluid ounces? If you know the answer, leave a comment below. And then click this link here to visit coolsciencexperimentsheadquarters.com where you can find out the answer. You'll also be able to print out instructions for this experiment, and you'll find many more fun science experiments that you can do at home too. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Click the button to subscribe. See you next time.